Hey, hey, peeps. So, um, I was on a roll doing updates on these two guys here and this guy. And I realized, well, in the 15 months since I uh, started paying attention to the Crassula Avata, um, I've actually amassed a cute little collection, as you can see, of um, a few different uh, types. And I thought it would be nice to share them with you guys and uh, to show you where they are at the end of the year in the winter and hopefully come the spring uh, they wake up and um, do a lot more cool things. So um, if you follow my channel you'll uh, know these guys here. They're the uh, two leaf or little cutting propagations I took about 15 months ago. Um, and I'll link the videos below if you're interested on going back and watching that. So these ones are the traditional type of uh, the Crassula ovata. It's the large, flat kind of, um, I wouldn't say coin shape, but like oval shaped leaves. And they're like that jade green, which uh, gives them the name, the jade plant. And then here, another one you guys should remember if you um, follow my videos, is my little golem jade cutting. Now I've taken a few leaves off at the bottom because it was starting to look really um, bushy for the little pot that it's in. And the leaves that were at the bottom were like really, really large. So I just kind of plucked them off so it looks a little bit more in proportion with the pot and hopefully encourages it to grow upwards rather than outwards, which I, is what I kind of suspected it was trying to do with those large leaves. And the mother plant here, which is where I took this guy from, and it was only about, I think, four or five leaves when I did cut it, and that was about 10, 11 months ago now. So, as you saw in my update when I did do the update, um, yeah, so... Again, I'll link the uh, video below for these guys if you want to go back and watch. This one also has uh, growing. This is the Gollum Jade Mother Plant. Kind of looks like Shrek's ears, which is also another pet name that people call it. Or like the Ogre Ears or Shrek's Ears or E.T. Fingers. Uh, whatever you prefer, I suppose. But Whatever you want to call it, I like it. It's cute and it's certainly um, very different. <laughs> it really does look almost alien. And it's also got potential to be a lovely bonsai, so maybe I might look into getting um, a bonsai pot for this at some point in the future. So if anyone's watching and is a some sort of an expert or knowledgeable on the subject of bonsai and how to prune it then um, yeah leave a comment below um, with any tips or advice on what you would do and yeah I'll, I'll uh, read it and uh, hopefully find it interesting so yeah that's enough of the golem and then I have my Crassula oblique and this is like a variegated form of jade but it looks different I mean although the stalk looks the same it's kind of like I'll get the other one here so I'll show you. this is the oblique stem so it's kind of like that yellowy green color and when you look at the traditional uh, stem and by the way, uh, well, when I look at this, I remember, uh, I've seen a lot of people asking the question how long it takes for the crassula stem to get woody. Well, you can see here that it's starting to turn woody. I'll get that little bit of a skin over it. So about, I would say a year or so for it to turn from, say, this kind of green to this kind of skinny color and then it will just get darker and darker as the plant gets older so yeah if you're wondering how long it takes for, for the plant stem to do this uh, 
about a year, maybe a year and a half, two years for sure. But uh, either way, you've got to have patience. Um, and if you want one with a woody stem and you don't have patience, then yeah, you're going to either have to go out and buy one or get very lucky and uh, either find one very cheap or uh, get gifted an old one. But yeah, so that answers that question. And yeah, so back to the oblique. You can see here the stem definitely looks different and the leaves are even a slightly, I mean, they have that like oval shape, they're kind of bent upwards. And they're not as uniform as that one. And they of course have the, the stripes. So I think it's like the same family, but it's kind of a different species. Either way, it's pretty, but with this one, I notice it's it's actually a lot more picky uh, and tricky and slower growing than the green golem and traditional versions. Because yeah, I've had this for about seven months, and it's done a very little growing, and it's now in a full terracotta pot. It was in a different pot before, as you would have seen in the last uh, video I showed it in. And I kind of transferred it to this and it wasn't really doing so well in in the way of roots. Um, it grown some, but not an impressive amount. So I hope uh, switching it to a better pot um, should encourage it to perk up a little bit. I mean, it's not dying. It's, it's not doing, it's badly. It's just not doing much. And what it does do, it does very slowly. So maybe that's just how this one grows. And it's also got some think burn damage from where they got it. I think that's just being a little bit too sensitive for the sun. I guess it's kind of like um, because it doesn't have a lot of green in there and the white it's a little bit more vulnerable to, um, to the sun so it can't take um, such an intense dose of the sun as uh, these guys. But yeah, hopefully um, that grows out. That, that was like that when I got it, but the new growth seems to look a lot nicer. But this is new here. And this is new here. And this little sprout here is new. And it was growing one here, but I broke it off. Oops. And it didn't kind of take it, just mushed up. So there's my oblique. Um, and then before I move on, there's of course my succulents and shells and that's my little golem that I grew from a leaf that's my little sprout right up there maybe I make super tiny jade bonsai sometimes and last but not least I actually went out and bought this beauty oh I know isn't it gorgeous now it's some sort of variegated jade but it's different from the oblique. And it kind of looks like a watermelon. I kind of call this my, my watermelon um, jade, but I know that's not the official name. So if anyone has an actual ID for this one, um, leave a comment below. I'd be uh, intrigued to see exactly which kind of jade this is and what name it is. It doesn't really matter because the, the care instructions are the same. It's the same plant, it just looks a little funky and different, uh, dusty. Oof, I should really clean this. So I got this a few weeks back. Um, so it's pretty much as I got it. And it's, you can still hear, see here, it's in its plastic pot, in this decorative pot here, but the soil is okay. Um, it doesn't seem to have any complaints with that, but I'll, uh, I'll repot that. Uh, in the springtime maybe or just as winter is ending it seems happy enough in there though for the meantime i mean it's done i think i've had this for about three weeks now so it's grown a little there a little bit there a little bit here you can see the super green stuff this is all new and somewhere along the back if i can oh yeah there's a little nub there that's growing and mm, where is it ah yeah and there's actually a new plant coming in right there well a, a new branch 
And there's actually two, two plants in here. See, there's one really thick main plant here. Just kind of bushy at the front, but bare at the back. And then you've got this, uh, if I can get this, this smaller plant here. I'm not sure if that's connected or um, it's the same plant. I'm really not sure. But I'm in two minds whether or not to, to take this out and put it in its own pot. Because <coughs> this one seems really beautiful and it's kind of being hidden behind this smaller one here so I think I'm gonna separate this guy and um, put him in his own pot so yeah that um, that about does it for my jade plant collection peeps so um, it's the last time I'm gonna be updating this year and no that wasn't a cheesy end of year joke <laughs> Though sort of is, sort of isn't. Uh, meh. Anyway, moving on. Um, the next time I update on these guys will probably be in the springtime, once they start waking up a little bit and have put on some more growth. So, yeah. Anyway, peeps, thanks for watching. As always, it's much appreciated. Much love. Have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.